Hello, this is Damien O'Sullivan from DAF Queensland and I'm presenting today on the Queensland State Government's Drought Relief Assistance Scheme and giving you some insight into the eligibility for restocking after drought and the transport subsidy that's associated with that. So the Queensland Drought Relief Assistance Scheme has a number of parts to it. The drought, under that subsidy assistance, there's a fodder transport subsidy, a water transport subsidy, an emergency water infrastructure rebate subsidy. And for properties that have had their drought declaration revoked, they might be eligible for a returning from adjustment freight subsidy and the restocking freight subsidy. So today we'll just be concentrating on the restocking freight subsidy. It's worthwhile remembering in a lot of cases just why this scheme was set up in the first place. And the idea of it is to maintain the breeding flock and herd of the state. So in some cases that doesn't make the scheme all that useful to people who are trading. But uh, with that proviso of the breeding herd and flock of the state is the basis for the scheme. The scheme's also des uh, designed to help protect the land resource. The other thing to keep in mind is that each pick number or property number in a financial year can access $20,000 per year under the scheme. And that $20,000 is the same bucket of money for all those five different uh, subsidies that people might be um, interested in applying for. You can get that subsidy increased to $30,000 in a financial year uh, by filling out a drought management plan if you need to do that. Okay, restocking. This subsidy applies for the replacement of 75% of the total number of stocks sold either from your property, from adjustment or from feedlots. And from the date of your drought declaration or in the two months immediately prior to the drought declaration. Uh, that could be an IDP or a Shire declaration. It also takes into consideration stock that may be lost during drought on your property, but obviously you would hope the numbers that that happened due to welfare concerns would not be too high. Transports up to a maximum distance of 1,000 kilometres. Up to 75% of the freight cost is eligible for payment. The subsidy is only for livestock purchase to restock your property when the drought status of the property has been revoked. And the subsidy doesn't apply to any livestock sold to properties under the same ownership. Other criteria, stock were purchased after the drought declaration and your property was revoked. However, if you've had the opportunity to purchase some breeders prior to the drought revocation, providing they are held on adjustment, and return to your property after the drought declaration is revoked, they also may, may be eligible for the restocking subsidy. But the restocking movement has to occur within 24 months of the revocation of your drought declaration and that 24 months is there in place because as everyone realised it's often di difficult to source replacement stock after a drought. So that's why the 24 month period is there. Uh, the other thing taken into consideration is that the introduced stock don't increase the stock numbers on the property beyond your normal carrying capacity. Obviously stock are transported by hired carrier, private vehicle or rail and stock are transported by the shortest practical route. The other thing is to uh, make sure your application is in within six months of the transportation date of those stock. We get quite a few questions about from people about uh, restocking before a drought declaration is lifted. Um, if people want to claim the restocking subsidy, they would have to individually revoke their property drought declaration. And this can be done by talking to one of the drought coordinators located around the state and I'll give their contact de details later. But the thing to remember about if you do revoke your drought status of the Shire, there's no further access to drought subsidies for that particular uh, property identification number for a 12 month period following the revocation. Trading or adjusting, uh, if stock are 
purchased and moved onto a property while it remains drought declared, there's a 16 week suspension for the claiming of any subsidies under the scheme. Uh, if people bring adjustment stock onto the property, you're not eligible to claim any subsidies under the scheme while there's adjustment ca uh, cattle or sheep on the property. One of the things to keep in mind is the QRA drought recovery loan. So that's available for people to restock after the drought. The current program runs until the 30th of June. And if you'd like more information on that, contact the QRA free call number or the guidelines are available on their website. So just to recap, this is only a really quite a brief uh, overview of the scheme and I'd really encourage people to read the guidelines very carefully before they uh, try and access the subsidy. Check to see if your situation is eligible for the subsidy. Beware of some critical dates. Uh, while you do have up to 24 months to restock, you've still got to make sure that application is received within six months of the movement. And the main thing is to, if you have got any restocking movements that you are planning, ask. So you can get more information at the DAF Queensland website where the application forms and details of assistance are located. The other thing you can do is call the customer service centre on 132523 and if you call that number and ask for the drought section, you'll be able to talk to the people who process the claims and they're very uh, good at being able to answer any questions or queries that, that you might have. So as I've said before, it's the webinar is a brief summary of the criteria used to access the subsidies, but you really do need to uh, read that full criteria at the DAF website. The climate risk coordinators, they're located in DAF offices at Charters Towers, Kingaroy, Longreach, Rockhampton and Toowoomba, and you can contact them by calling the customer service centre and they will forward your call onto those offices. That covers the restocking subsidy and thank you for listening to the webinar.